Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm so excited to be doing this. I've not done a one brand tutorial in so freaking long. What makes this even more special on top of the one brand tutorial in this outfit is the fact that I'm actually partnered with Beautylish on today's video. Beautylish is actually a brand I've worked with many, many times. This is probably like maybe your third third sponsorship together. And we're gonna be using all Charlotte Tilbury today. I've not used tons of Charlotte Tilbury products. I've used a couple staple products that are absolutely amazing. And those like products that I use in my everyday routine that are freaking phenomenal. But I have not used all the products. I thought it'd be really, really fun to do a full face using Charlotte Tilbury products because we are going to be focusing specifically on the new Instant Look palette, which is this beautiful palette right here. This is the Instant Look Smoky palette. Ooh, these guys are all existing popular items for Charlotte Tilbury and they got put into a palette for everyone to try out. So I actually feel like this is a really, really, really cool thing for those who want to try out Charlotte Tilbury products, but don't want to buy so many different products and you want to try like one thing, I would definitely suggest doing this. But yeah, you guys, as always, if you guys do not like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking like me and you don't do it there. But if you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you know what's up, I'm Manny M.U.A. and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Also, do not forget, all month of October, we are doing a giveaway on my channel. Every Sunday, I'll be announcing on Snapchat at nighttime who won the giveaway for that week. Either you're gonna be getting an iPad or a MacBook Pro. All you need to be doing is subscribed to my channel to enter the giveaway. That's literally it. Be subscribed to my channel and boom, you are in the giveaway. Okay guys, let's get started. <laughs> So this is just one thing I want to talk about really, really, really quickly. Beautylish is a brand. It's an online retail brand that has this wonderful, wonderful thing called flexible payments. And this is like my favorite part about Beautylish is that you don't have to pay the lump sum of your total right at one thing. So they have two options now. They have any orders over $100, you can make three payments interest-free over the next three months. So you don't have to pay the lump sum right then and there. And they're like, God, I want this product but you can't buy it at that exact moment. You can do flexible payments, which I think is absolutely amazing. And now there's a second payment option for any order over $50, you can make two payments. For those of you who wanna do flexible payment but don't have a sum total of 100 bucks, now I can go over 50 and you will have flexible payments. Okay you guys, so let's get started on today's video. First things first, I'm gonna prime the skin. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Mm! You guys, this smells rich. Smells fucking rich is what it smells like. We're going to prime the skin with this. You guys, this is such a beautiful, soothing face cream. It's really, really hydrating. This is like one of her most popular products. I feel like this is actually one of the products that made like her line famous, actually. It just hydrates your skin beautifully and also primes the skin. So today we're gonna try this foundation. Now I have not tried this yet. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And we have shade 3.5. <laughs> Let's see if this is our shade. Looks a little light, but probably accurate. That's really pretty. I would say this gives me more of a satin dewy-ish finish. It's not really mattifying on the skin so far. I'm applying it with a Morphe M439. I feel like this will be the nicest way to apply it because it's, I just feel like this foundation is a little bit more of a medium slash sheer coverage. So I like to build it up a little bit with using a Kabuki brush. As you can see, you'll see some of my redness from my pimple right there. So it's not like intensely full coverage or anything like that, but I would say it's a nice like medium, but it's nice. It's like really, really genuinely pretty on the skin. And I feel like it makes it look like your skin, but prettier. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. And I use two pumps. Maybe we'll take one more pump. <laughs> one more. So now I'm just using a beauty blender to kind of pat out any streaks I could possibly have. I always do this after I apply with a thick foundation brush, like a dense foundation brush. I always use a little beauty blender after to make sure I have no streaks in the foundation or anything like that possible. This foundation smells like SPF. It has the SPF 15. So it has a little bit of that SPF smell, but it's not terrible whatsoever. It's not like one that like is intense where you're like, holy crap, hey SPF, like how you doing girl? I think it looks really pretty. It's much more of a natural skin moment for me. I feel like this is much more of a natural foundation. It's something I can wear daily, whereas I wouldn't wear it to like a drag convention. You know what I'm saying? So that was a plus, that was a win. You know why I love working with Beautylish guys? I love them because they let me be myself and they let me be honest and they let me do what I do. <laughs> they let me do what I do. And I really, really appreciate that. It's very important for me to be able to still feel like I'm being me and not feeling like I am like some type of like sponsored ass like 
person. Whenever they've worked with me, every single time, they've always let me be myself. And I really, really cannot thank them enough for being like that. I really like you guys and thank you for working with me. And I actually get a lot of tweets from you guys letting me know how awesome it is for flexible payment to be a thing. Like I didn't even realize that they had that until they told me and I was like, wait, that's literally genius. Why the hell does no one else do that? So I just realized I do not have any Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Okay, Manuel, way to be a flop on a full face. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury tutorial. So now we're gonna go and set our under eyes really quickly. You guys, I know you guys know this about me. This is like my favorite powder ever. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. Holy crap, this is mine. Yeah. You guys, this is literally the prettiest setting powder ever. I would not have hit pan, but I didn't love it so much. It honestly gives you an airbrushed finish. It sets your makeup beautifully, ugh, beautifully, but it doesn't like make your skin look heavy. And honestly, you can keep applying this. This is the type of powder that you can keep applying over and over and over, like more and more and more and more and more. And it's not going to get cakey or heavy looking. It's gonna stay the same. Like that's why I live for it so much. It stays looking good, guys. It stays looking good. Do you guys recognize me? I know this is not the shade I usually go with foundation. I usually am a lot darker. Okay guys, so now we're gonna dip into the Smoky Eye Instant Look Palette, which is this guy right here. We have our bronzer, we have our blush, we have our highlight, and of course we have some eyeshadows up here as well. So this guy retails for $75, and as I said earlier, it's a great value if you guys want to try Charlotte Tilbury products, like you wanna test out mini versions of other products of hers. Like this is basically a minis palette. Like it has the other products from Charlotte in here other than the eye colors. These are already blushes that the line has, a highlighter that the collection has, and a bronzer that the collection has. So the shadows are the exclusive in this palette. I freaking love her products. They have beautiful freaking products. So I'm gonna dip in to the bronzer. This is the face bronze section right here. On a Charlotte brush. Oh my God, I feel so luxe using this. Look at that. I did, wow, hi, pigment, how you doing, girl? Make sure to really, really, really blend this out. It's extremely pigmented. Wow, okay, living, so far living. This brush is really nice too. It's that high-end price point, honey. We get those high-end products with those high-end price point. She cute or whatever. So now we're gonna take some blush and we're gonna take the cheek five and cheek six. We're just gonna bounce them. So these guys, as I'm dipping in it, there's some fallout going on right here, but they are powders, so there's going to be fallout, of course, and as I've said so many times, I actually enjoy a little bit amount of fallout as long as there's like a good blend to it, and these products do blend very nicely, so I'm not mad at all. Oh my god, this is a really pretty fucking blush. Okay, guys, so far, I'm really, really, really liking my base right now. So I'm gonna take the highlight shade of this palette right here, and we're going to highlight the face. So this guy is a beautiful, soft gold highlight. I mean, it's soft if you want it to be soft, but I feel like it's built Yep, it's available. If she wants to be soft, she can be soft. She can be dainty if she wants. But if she wants the bitch to be fucking there, she's there. And I'm taking that on a Morphe R36, you guys. I really enjoy uh, overdoing it. I really enjoy overdoing it on the highlight, guys. Like, I really live. So I'm there for a fucking overdone highlight. I'm there for it. Let's distract them. Let's distract these bitches, you know? I actually also just really like this glow because I feel like it's such a pretty, like, soft. It's, like, subtle, but it's there. Like, does that make sense? I don't know if that makes any sense. And it doesn't really emphasize my texture a lot, which is kind of cool. Of course, you guys can see I do have texture. There's nothing that will avoid that, but I feel like this highlighter does not emphasize it whatsoever. I don't know why I'm feeling myself so hard right now. So hard. Okay, guys, so now we are, I feel like we're done with the base. Like this base looks fucking nice. Like I'm really, really happy with this. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm really happy with the complexion products that we chose, guys. I love the foundation. I think it's beautiful. I really like the palette as well because I feel like it's a great deal. Her products are pretty pricey. It's a high-end brand. It's a high-end price point. Also, of course, you guys know this is the powder. This is the powder and all powders. I'm sorry. I said it. I said it. So now let's go ahead and move on to the... Ojitos, the eyes. Okay, guys, so we are going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift 3-Way Shape Tool. So we have a little brow. It looks like that. It looks like the Anastasia, like, teardrop shape. That's the kind of shape that it has here. Actually, I think that Charlotte Tilbury's brand had it first. No shade. Observation. I think we're using the shade Brooks. So we're going to use the shade Brooks. It puts down a nice amount of product, but it's not, like, too heavy. Okay, so we were using the shade Brooks, and I think now we're going to use the shade Naomi which is a darker shade. I think it's kind of sickening that this is named after Naomi Campbell. I'm assuming it's named after Naomi Campbell. I'm not, of course, positive, but I feel like all of Charlotte's names for her products are named after like supermodels and famous actors and things like that. I mean, like she has the Kim K lipstick that everyone dies for, including me. <laughs> I'll probably wear it today. I feel like this color just suits my brow a little bit better. What I like about this pencil is that it puts down a nice amount of product, but not too much. Where you're kind of like overwhelmed and you're like, oh shit, I put too much down. It's just enough. Wow. Okay, she's really an aggressive brow today. Woo! Ciao. Okay, cool. We're gonna go for the Cara Intense Thickum Brow. We're gonna do the other side real quick and I'll be right back. Damn. 
Who's this bushy browed girl? Okay guys, so I went ahead and primed my eyes off of camera because I do not have a concealer. That means I don't have an eye primer from her brand. And I don't think that she has an eye primer because I did not see one. So now we're gonna go and move on to the eyes. Now I'm gonna take the same palette guys. This is a really universal palette. I'm gonna take the bronze shade, mixing it with the enhanced shade right here. Enhance right there. It's like a nice contoury shade. And I'm gonna put that with a Morphe M504 fluffy brush. I'm gonna put that into the crease. We're gonna do an easy everyday look. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury's brand is literally the epitome of like enhancing your natural features and like being like of a pretty, like a pretty look. Or we can do a smoky eye. I feel like I kinda wanna do a smoky eye. Is that terrible? Oh, I do, I really do. No, let me I'm trying to stay away from smoky eyes all the time. That's all I do. The shadows are blending beautifully, just how they were on the Face. I should have called this video freaking full face using one palette. <laughs> That's what I should have done. <laughs> Let's grab a Morphe M326. I'm gonna take the shade Eye Brighten, which is like the lightest shade. I'm going to brighten our eye, because that's what it says we can do. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Eye Brighten again on my finger. I'm just gonna put that over the lid. It's literally just a very soft, lightweight wash of color. It's like more of a glowy satin finish. Take a little bit of the highlight shade for the face. Put it right on top of that. So now I'm gonna take the shade Ice Smoke on this Morphe E18 right here. A little bit, just on the outer corner. Just to deepen it ever so slightly. Okay guys, before I continue, I completely forgot I wanted to try this out too. This is the Legendary Brow. It's like a little brow gel. We're gonna use that. And this is the cutest little comb. I love them. The cute little brow gel just kind of sculpts the brows in place. With blacks, guys, I like to really be sure that I take a small amount of product in the beginning and I build from there and I don't try to overdo it with black because I feel like it can go awry very quick. Very fucking quick. I'm just taking a M433 from Morphe and just blending out those edges. God, they blend like literally like smoke. Like it just was like, Ooh. I'm still gonna say this is still pretty natural for me though. Can I? I hope I can, cause shit. I'm gonna take that face and enhance color, guys. I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. No, not, sm like, not smoke it, let's not get crazy. We're going to just make it a little bit more coherent with the whole look, that's what I meant to say. I'm used to just doing really, really, really warm tone looks and this is not a very warm tone to me. I'm still living though, I'm not gonna lie. I, I live for this look. Should we do a nude in the waterline? A black or a brown? We have the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil Rock and Coal Eye Cheat. Whatever with the name. I like it. I like that. We're gonna put that in the waterline. That is so smooth. Wait. Damn, so this is what high quality feels like. Okay. Don't know what the hell I was using before, but uh. God damn. So now I just curled my lashes really quickly just to give it a quick little moment, a curl. I'm gonna take the full fat lashes. I have not tried this mascara yet. I have not tried this. Let's see how she, how she, how does she act? We'll see. I really enjoy a drier formula of mascara. I don't like it to be too liquidy. I feel like it gets all over the place and it drops my curl so quickly. Ooh, like that Rimmel one that I just tried in the, like the other day. That Rimmel one was so bad. Oh my gosh. In the, in the tutorial that I did like full face affordable products, the Rimmel one was so bad. I've never had a mascara that bad in my whole life. So this one is a drier formula, which I very much, very much enjoy. This is what I want right there, see that? I wish my lashes wouldn't go straight down. I wouldn't have to wear falsies all the time. It separates the lashes pretty nicely. There's not a lot that gets deposited on the actual brush itself, which is good because you don't have to make an entire disaster of a mess with it. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this whatsoever. Mm, mm hmm I can see a difference. Oh, I see you difference. Okay guys, so this is the mascara right here. This is what it looks like. Eyes closed, looking down, looking up. I definitely think that it's giving me a nice amount of volume and it definitely separates my lashes nicely. So I'm gonna go put on a pair of lashes really quickly and I'll be right back to finish off the lid. Okay guys, so we have some lashes on now. I'm wearing Lily Lashes Miami right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lip and we will be done with the full face Charlotte Tilbury Glam. And I'm thinking, I can't decide if I wanna do Kim K West or Pillow Talk. Both are fucking so beautiful. I'm just watching for you guys just so you can see. Pillow Talk right there. Stun Kim K West, which is literally like my one of my go-to nudes. It's so beautiful right there. We also have Nude Kate, which is an option. I've never tried this one yet, though. This is what this one looks like, right there. It's like a peachy nude. I feel like Pillow Talk's the one. Like I think I want a little bit of something, you know? Let's see what it looks like. If not, we can always apply Kim K West on top. It's all good. I'm too stressed for this. Oh, these lipsticks. They're too good. Why does this look like my actual lip color, like, identically? Should we just do a little bit of Kim K in the middle? A little? That stuff is unnecessary, but... Yeah, anyway. And there you have it! Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. No? Okay. And there we have it, you guys. This is the completed face look using all Charlotte Tilbury products. This is the most expensive full face product video I think I've ever done. And it would have been a lot worse if I used even more of the products. So uh, let's count our blessings here. I honestly just have a lot of fun doing the one brand tutorials. I think they're so fun to do. And I think it's really fun to grab a product or grab a couple products from a brand and do a full face using only that brand to see the products that you liked, see the products that you didn't like as much. I actually really enjoyed almost all the products here today. Actually, I enjoyed them all. Yeah, there's not one product that I'm like, ooh, that's rough. Like there's literally nothing on my face that I do not like of how it looks. I really liked the foundation. I loved the palette. I loved the eyeliner. The mascara was really nice. The brow products were fantastic. The lipstick is stunning. This is why you always hear about Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because they're so fucking nice. This is a win. This is a hard win. Hard win. And of course, thank you so much again to Beautylish for wanting to partner with me on this video. I really, really genuinely appreciate it. And you know I love your guys' brand so much. And I love what you guys stand for. I love how great you are with customer service with the people that reach out to and your customers. You guys are wonderful. And I would not do this sponsorship with you guys or I would not work with you guys if I really didn't believe that. Same with Charlotte Tilbury products. Thank you so much for sending me these and for letting me try out some of the Charlotte Tilbury products out on my channel. And honestly, I'm so thrilled with how the products work today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been such a great, easy, true, easy collaboration for me and ugh. I love it. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around. If you guys have watched it all the way to the end, I love you so much. If you have made it to this part in the video, comment down below. We're gonna have to, we have to, we have to like do a joke. So if you guys have made it to this part of the video at the very end of the video and you guys are watching this right now, let's comment down below, who's your boyfriend? Question mark, because I feel like it's gonna make it seem like, ooh, you're dating someone or it's gonna be intense and crazy. And some of the comments will be like, what the fuck? He has a boyfriend? Why hasn't he talked about it? I haven't, but at the end of this video, um, if you have to stick around, it's our inside joke. Thank you for watching. And I love you guys so much. As always, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. I'll leave all these products linked down below, of course, as I always do with all these videos. Again, thank you to Beautylish. Don't forget to enter my giveaway in October. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. Wow, rat's nest. And that's it, you guys. I love you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Time for video number two. Pimple is going down. Pee wee is going down. But anyway, I'm not. I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna stop babbling. I feel like I'm babbled a lot when I'm about to start filming, especially because I just took a nap and I just woke up, and so I'm like, skin is sickening. <laughs> skin is sickening. Hi, pigment. How you doing, girl? Is you good? Is you good or what? She cute or whatever. <laughs> I love him. Why is this little hair doing this? Por qué? Dude, do you see that pimple? Wow. She's going through it, huh? This angle, you can't see the pimple. Oh, shit. Hey, you can call me Sasha Valor, henty. Just kidding, no, she's the queen. No one can ever compare to her. Who is that girl I see? Shit. Emmanuel, stop. Stop. We're gonna do something natural and pretty. No, I don't want to. Yes, you do. <laughs> and I finally win this game. <laughs> oh. Thank you.